If the movies hadn't discovered Dickens, then Dickens would have discovered the movies. Great Expectations is the greatest coming-of-age novel. It contains all the confusion, the insecurities, the pain of that difficult journey from childhood into early adulthood. It's an exciting roller coaster of a journey. To me, it was most significantly about a story that, in which the older generation used the younger generation to heal their own hurt. I play Pip. He is someone who has been the victim of really quite terrible domestic abuse. He wants to rise, but he's only a blacksmith's apprentice. How on earth is that ever going to happen? I wish my boots weren't so thick and I wish my hands weren't so cast. I wish I wasn't covered! A lawyer announces himself and says that this boy has become the owner of a great fortune. I'm here to inform you that he has great expectations. And that's it. At that moment, something clicks in Pip's brain. His whole life revolves around this idea of becoming a gentleman. The success changes him, and, and not, not for the better. He's treacherous, and he's callous, and he's cold, and he does terrible things to the people who love him most. For God's sake! Just put your money away! And he constantly longs for the people who love him least. I think Jeremy is terrific as Pip. Absolutely knockout. Women's knees melt when he walks into the room. It's just so wrong. Pip, will you never take warning? How can you do it, Estella? What? Give your affections to that man. All sorts of ugly creatures hover about a lighted candle. Can the candle help it? No, but you can. Perhaps. If I cared. I think Pip's love for Estella is the most lyrical, uh, tender thing that Dickens wrote. It's a very painful relationship. Miss Havisham, who got jilted at the altar, adopted Estella to wreak revenge on the male sex and to bring her up to break men's hearts. And so young Pip meets her as a child and falls completely head over heels in love with her. Especially in this adaptation, this is a real dark passion. What I think is really great about the film is that it's not recognising the dreams and the nightmares, that the nightmare is actually Estelle. I've always wanted to play Estella. The whole day's great. She's, uh, yeah, no, she's really cool. But you must know, Pip, I have no heart. She's very not like Estella, you know. She... Yeah, I love it about Holiday because she's such a fantastic, bouncy, sparky lass. And then she comes on as Estella and you just go, oh my God, you know, that's Holiday. One of the many things that kind of sets this one apart is, I mean, the cast. To sit in a room with David Nichols, Mike Nill, Robbie Coltrane, Helena Bonham Carter, Ray Fiennes, Jeremy, I mean, you just, one of those moments where you go, hang on, is this a job? When I heard Helena Bonham Carter was playing Miss Havisham, I was like, perfect. It's because it's just utterly perfect casting because she's so good at playing that kooky insanity. Now, let me see you play cards with him. But he's a common neighbouring boy. Everyone's very well cast, but it's also got the humour, which often sometimes is left out of Dickensian adaptations. <laughs> well put, Mum. Good indeed. But it's not over the top or grotesque or caricature. I think some of these Dickens roles, they're not unlike sort of Shakespeare characters. They're kind of, they're so high definition and they, they sort of work their way into our awareness. With Magwitch, we wanted someone who could be genuinely scary genuinely physically intimidating, that there was a real sense of danger and violence, and I think you absolutely get that with Rafe, who also has the sensitivity and vulnerability of, of the character too. Because people will say, oh, so you've cast Robbie Coltrane as Magwitch and Rafe as Jaggers. And I say, no, 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 Rafe's Magwitch and Robbie Coltrane as Jaggers. And I'm so thrilled when people assume the opposite, because to me, we've done something so interesting. Have you had any feelings about my play? Feelings. We'll have no feelings here. Jaggers is such a great part. He's an almost irredeemable swine of a man, which is heaven for all actors, I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. Great Expectations is like Hamlet or any great work of art, that there, there's room for interpretations. A great story is worth telling a million times. And there's definitely a different emphasis in our version. It's very action-driven. It's the sort of thing you'd see in a thriller, I think, and at the same time maintaining the beautiful story that Charles Dickens wrote. It takes you by the scruff and it never puts you down. Like any classic, a classic is classic because it's forever relevant today. There's something for everyone, and I'm excited to watch it, so I don't see why everyone else would be.